the reason for us to enter i mean from a overall group perspective and uh, from clear trips brand perspective as well is that um, when we did the consumer research it was very clearly coming out that uh, today uh, no ota player is focusing on the experience part of it from the customer experience um, mostly uh, it's more like an offline transaction and in that in that uh, sort of the consumer research it was very clearly coming out that um, while the play is very transactional with respect to what the consumers are getting at this point of time there is a huge white space that is existing out here um unlike uh, the platforms globally uh, in india there is a very clear lack of uh, somebody who can take end to end ownership on the experience and uh, the reason why we went for clearter as a brand acquisition also is because Cleartrip has always stood for its experience from a design experience point of view people who have been shopping have been shopping for a long time so all put together uh, we wanted to ensure that this is one space we want to very clearly occupy now within that we are uh, and this is a very very tech dependent business unlike other uh, digital businesses while every everything is built on tech but uh, it travel it's a digital product so the dependency on tech is lot higher so you need to have the right tech partners working with you and have the right amount of synergy um, who have globally done good things with respect to selection with respect to value offering with respect to the experience so if you look at it itq uh, is enabling us or will enable us in getting around 400 airlines uh, selection right and uh, this is going to be a huge Uh, shift with respect to what we want to do both from domestic air perspective and also the international air perspective percent it's it's almost at 90 percent of pre-pandemic levels and the reason why it is not touching 100 is not because of demand but it is because of supply the number of aircrafts that are available with the airlines are little limited because they're all waiting for the new aircrafts to come in in some cases some spare issues and stuff like that but otherwise from a consumer demand perspective it is very clearly um, a lot more than even pre-pandemic i would say the reason why i'm saying that is because um if 4.2 lakh customers are flying were flying before covid right this is into 2019 um now we are seeing around 4 lakh 3.9 to 4 lakh which i think during december it will touch even 4.1 or 4.2 but the average price that a customer is paying is very clearly 30% more than what they were paying 3 years back so in spite of 25 30% ticket price going up the number of consumers are still there and the flights are running full i mean last few days it's been running at 90% plus um typically the, the 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 airlines don't see anything more than 80% so 90% is like a very very positive check international if you look at there are two um set of uh, markets one is short hauls which is like southeast asia 3 to 4 hour journeys from india the second is a long haul which is us uk australia and things like that right so barring the visa issues um on the vacation and the holiday i think the numbers have very very clearly gone up and it is hitting pre pandemic numbers same with the short hauls um leaving the supply out again the same set of issues are existing in international carriers also with respect to the availability of aircrafts if you leave that point out every airline is running flight full and at a price much much higher than what they were doing pre pandemic so net net to me the demand is right there uh in fact uh, the consumers uh, or the the markets outside india is is waiting for indian consumers to fly into their country so that's a sort of demand we have been able to generate overall the the domestic hotels have also seen a pretty solid jump um the way we are looking at it again but we are um for us the air business has been the bread and butter the hotel is a very new business for us and that's one of the fastest growing business for us as well um so there the jump has been higher than even air business from a market perspective i would say it is around 65 to 70% of pre pandemic levels it is yet to hit the uh, exact pre pandemic levels but there are markets which are doing really well for example the goa market is doing really well the shimla is doing really well northeast completely is doing well um so there are these pockets which are doing really well but at an overall level if you look at it um it is like somewhere around 70 to 75% of the pre pandemic days so first and foremost to me it's the experience which we have been able to fix um which basically is starting with the refund that we are offering to the consumers in case of any cancellations 
um we are we launched the industry first 24 hour refund uh, which nobody is uh, been able to do uh, so far uh, the second part is bringing in flexibility because post pandemic what one thing that consumers want is flexibility in the travel plans the indian consumers want to travel like i said the demand is right there now they want lot of value constructs one one such construct we launched during the festive season is the no cost emi um and it saw a 3x and adoption um when we did not have a no cost emi when we just had a normal emi product it saw x percentage adoption now it is seeing a 3x adoption so it's a it's a very clear winner from day one on what we have been able to do on the no cost emi and this is just one such construct we'll be doing lot more as the days go by um another value construct that we had launched is clear trip upgrade where in specific routes and specific airlines we offer free meal or we offer a subsidized uh, seat otherwise the indian consumers have to spend a lot more to get a meal or a seat in a low cost carrier especially taking the experience to a level where which indian consumers have never seen in this space and along with that getting that sort of a market share growth whatever we wanted to do in 3 years we have been able to do that in the last 12 months so the sort of growth trajectory the growth Uh, targets that we are taken internally uh, it's all way above what we are taken uh, earlier